Hey there everybody, how's it going? This is Bronson from Fretz RV here in Southerton, Pennsylvania. I've got a great product behind me here made by Coachman, one of my favorites on a Ford chassis that you can get. This is a 2025 Beyond 22C. So it'll have the rear sofa, all wheel drive, some great upgrades. I'm gonna take you around the inside, outside, show you some great features. See, this might be the coach for you. Let's get going. Alrighty, here we are standing on the outside of the 2025 Coachman Beyond 22C. First thing you might notice is this is on the longer base Ford chassis. So we sit 22 feet, two inches, still very easy to get around in park, not be limited on where you're traveling. And having the Ford Transit and all wheel drive is awesome. Lots of power, pep, just stability in the drive of these Fords. Um, it really is one of my favorite chassis. And this color they have as well, it's like a really light gray. Um, I'm really in love with, I mean, this is exactly how I would get it. So we'll go around the outside here starting you can see I've got your big power awning out here. There is an LED strip under there. Not a whole lot on the passenger side. It's a nice clean finish. You'll see this has the LI on it, which I highly recommend as an upgrade. It gives you 630 amps of lithium batteries, a 3000 watt inverter so you can run your air conditioner, microwave, your outlets, all right off of the battery system. It gives you a second alternator under the hood for charging the batteries. It's an outstanding upgrade, especially if you're looking to boondock, not be plugged in at a campground. Coming along the passenger side, you'll find your Truma exhaust. That's for your combi system. It'll do your hot water and your furnace. You can run your hot water off propane or electric or do the mixture of both. It's a very efficient system. Now, if you're hanging outside underneath your awning, you do have some outlets. Plug things in and get some power to them. Coming around the back, hitch receiver for towing, a bike rack, storage, other accessories that you might want. And there's, of course, a backup camera up on the roof and they even have a secondary camera for your rear view mirror it has a built-in camera so you can always see what's going on behind you we'll get our back doors open here now for your four doors you are actually able to swing these out further there's a little unlock mechanism on each of these doors but as we look in the back two little storage cubbies up there and a big great rear screen door which can come all the way down Keep the bugs out, let the nice day in like we've got today. And even with the big battery bank and inverter, you still get a little bit of room for storage back here. If I open this up, you can see your battery bank stored behind the rear sofa. We've got another hookup out here, I'll open this. That's just to be able to get to your water pump, easy access and such. And there's a water pump switch over here. But again, more storage at least that you get, even with having that big battery bank. Some newer units, pretty much miss out on that coming along the driver's side here nice tinted kind of limo style windows all the way along to give it a clean look popping this open here you'll find where you can hook up your fresh water clean out your black holding tank hook up your city water and they've went to a smart plug which is great it's pretty much 100 percent connectivity pops up and connects right into there down below, you'll find where you fill up your propane tank and a spot to store your sewage hose when you're dumping out your blade and your, or your black and your gray tank. Put that hose away right in there so you don't gotta worry about it being inside. You already have 195 watts of solar standard on the roof, but you can bring your own panel with you, hook it up to here, and have it in as addition to the solar on the roof to charge your batteries. And then a spray port for rinsing off outside if you'd like to do so. And then right down below here, You'll find your sewer outlet. That's where you're gonna dump out your black and your gray holding tank. You'll have a level reader monitor on the inside to show you how full those are getting. I want you to see as you come along the side, you actually have side mounted cameras. So when you're indicating either left or right, you're gonna be able to see what is going on next to you so you know if it's safe. So these four transits, especially Coachman here, really safe ride, sensors around for parking also. Step up onto the inside here. I'll show you this great floor plan. Before I do, a lot of you love these screens that can come right to the side here as opposed to dropping down. Super simple. And as we step up, you got light, bright, airy color combinations, all your cabinets above, rear sofa, wet bath will be in here. Don't worry, I'll be sure to nail all of this for you. But as we step inside, up top, you'll find all of your controls for your awning, your Truma Aqua Go, either your furnace or your hot water, turning on your lithium batteries. This gets rid of the generator, you don't need it. Turning your batteries on here, awning light, propane tank, 
and then you'll have a firefly system which you'll be able to you know control your lights as a master switch check your tank levels adjust your climate control check battery levels another lighting page climate control page this has the optional truma aventa air conditioner you might not be able to tell but i actually have this on and running not plugged in it's super quiet compared to anything else in the market and then just the settings page there's a mobile app you can do this stuff off your phone check the network diagnostics you've got a remote here that'll be for your fan move some air around and you'll see below here you've got your galley area nice corian countertops Induction cooktop, which I like because you're not using as much propane. It runs right off the electric and the batteries. Some outlets here for plugging things in. And they kind of extend the countertop here just a bit to give you some extra prep space. Spice racks. Storage down below. All soft clothes, cabinets. This that side one there. You've got your drawers that come down through here. And then another one here and down below spot for your trash bin and another opening and they've went over to a nice square size sink which is bigger than the previous years nice heavy duty cover for that and a sink with a removable head here spot for the paper towels always nice and convenient as we come above you'll see some storage cabinets the solar controller is here inverter you have your fresh tank heater and your gray holding tank heater. This allows you for more extended periods of, of camping through the winter because your tanks are up underneath the floor. They'll get heat and your solar panels you can turn on from here. I'll continue around the top here. Show you these cabinets which are lined towards the back. These are extremely quiet to drive these coachmans just because you've got the solid hardwood cabinetry tied down really tight. Upgraded super spring suspension for the Ford. Now this is a C floor plan, so that means you have a rear forward facing sofa. So this works as your whole lounge in the rear. This will make one huge bed back here. I'll kind of put up a little snippet so you can see, but it's one big space that takes up the whole back here. But if you're lounging during the day, you can see I've got our table already set up here. It just mounts right down in the corner. Or if you like it on this side, you can put it there, but you can spin twist move this table around easily sit someone here gets a little more limited here because you've got your smart tv and a storage closet another touch screen back here if you're hanging out in the back and don't want to run to the front you can control the coach from here and plug in your devices don't forget the cup holders on either side your windows are great because you can slide them open and then you have a nightshade that pops up um, just to close off the space that's there It'll be the same on either side. Your screen is on there as well, already built in. So you don't have the drop down screen, but you have the slide over screen right over there. If you're wondering how to control the bed, there's a switch up there to bring it up and down. It is a power bed. So you don't have to worry about manually bringing it down. Up above, JBL for your speakers. They've got them built up underneath. Connect your phone, listen to the stereo. And one more cabinet in the back here. Let's head back more towards the kitchen area. You've got more storage here. Those shelves can be adjusted so you can use it as a hanging closet space. Down for your maybe your longer shirts. Furion microwave, as well as an air fryer. This is a Nova Cool 12 volt fridge and it's got a bottom freezer. So separate from each other, which a lot of you love. And your freezer is down below. You've got a great big space for your freezer. And then we'll step over to the bathroom here, your wet bath. Pop these doors open. It's actually a really nice size. You've got your toilet. There is a sink in here with a little mirror. Now, if you stand in here, I'm about five foot 11, if you can see me. A couple inches of space. And there, it's got a shower miser so that your water is always gonna be hot. When that lights up, you're good to go. And an LED fan on the inside and a curtain that comes across. And now for your front chassis area, these seats both swivel, so that's great if you want to have a table set up here. Well, now you swivel these around. You've got a secondary workspace. If someone's sleeping in the back, you can be up in the front here hanging out. It just mounts down to the side. When you're done, take this apart, and you can strap the table down right into here. It's got its own little home, little storage cubby here. 
Now I love above the transit, you still do have some extra storage. The more the merrier on these B vans. And then coming down again, we're on the Ford Transit. So uh, the EcoBoost chassis, lots of power, torque, big touch screen, adaptive cruise control on here. Again, the side cameras, there's a camera built into your rear view mirror so you can always see what's going on behind you. And they rewrap the seats here. Your seats in the rear are covered in a, it's, it's a Q-foam material it's called, so it's very comfy. But this is, again, one of my favorite vans on a Ford, made by Coachman. This is the 2025 Beyond 22C here at Fretz RV of Satterton, Pennsylvania. Okay, my name is Bronson. Any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments. Give a call to the dealership. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to keep up with further content on all the new stuff coming out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.